Whoa. Well, hello. Welcome to class, class. Hi. Today we're going into Microsoft Excel. Hi. Shh. And we're going to go through your week, Monday to Friday. Um, to start out with, top cell, cell A1. We're going to put in uh, the time, minutes, and then days of the week. If I go too fast, feel free to pause and back it up. After I get Monday in, I'm going to go to the very bottom right corner where there's a black X. I'm going to drag it over and have it fill over so I can be lazy and I don't have to type it in. And I'm going to click on Friday and drag diagonally across. And right here it gives me different options for outlining the different cells. So I'm just going to do all borders so it pops a little more. I'll zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. Shh. Time of the day. I'm going to go 6.30 to 7.30. How many minutes is that? That's 60 minutes. <laughs> and then I'm going to write in what I do Monday to Friday. I'm waking up. So this is my morning routine. And that doesn't fit in the cell. Two options for this. I can go to Format Cells. And I can Wrap Text. And that allows it to have one big fat cell. That way all the words fit. Um, but since I'm going to be doing the same thing every single day, and again I can drag over so I don't have to type it every time, but I think this looks a little cluttered. So we're going to highlight all those cells, two finger click, format cells, and we're going to merge them together as one. And after I two finger click and go to format cells, that's under the alignment tab, merge cells, click OK. It's going to tell me that it's only going to write one of the morning routines and that's what we want. I'm going to center it so it looks nicer. And then I'll go on to the next thing, 7.30 to 8 o'clock is 30 minutes. I have morning devotions. And I'm going to do the same thing. Highlight the cells I'm going to merge together. Two finger click. Format cells. Merge them. There might be some days that are different. I'll center that. This is left, right, and center justified. There might be some days that are different. Maybe on Mondays um, after school you go to grandma's house. Shh. On Tuesdays, I just drive home. And if that's the case, you're not going to be able to merge those. So that would be an instance where you're going to just wrap the text. And it's going to make it a little bit fatter. Now, we want this to be proportional. So the longer the time, the fatter the cell. So I'm going to click on this and go to Format <laughs> Row Height. And it's telling me that it's 0.21 now. I don't want to change it up a whole lot. But I do want it to be consistent for the minutes to the height. So I could try doing like 0.6 for an hour and 0.3 for 30 minutes. And I go to grandma's house for three hours. So in that case, I would go format row height 1.8. It will also look nicer. Let's see, if I go to grams for three hours, it's going to be from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock. It looks nicer if it's centered vertically, too. We went through and centered things horizontally, left, right, center. But I can also go to Format Cells, and I can go to the vertical alignment, make it centered, and click OK. Um, up at the top, this is something we haven't gone over yet, so if you're just working right now, give me your eyes for a second. I'm going to go to Insert. I'm going to make a row in, on top, an entire row. And I need a title for this so I know whose it is. Oops, oops. So I'm going to put in Mr. Onan's uh, weekly schedule. And then I'm going to merge all these cells together. Weckly schedule. That's nice. Merge cells. And we'll fix that to weekly. And I'm going to make that pop a little bit so my title pops a bit. Bold it, center it. Um, after you get done with the entire thing, uh, I want you to go to File, Print, and make sure that it fits on one page. Mine does, but let's pretend it doesn't for a second. Um, I might have some extra space, in which case I could highlight like Monday through Friday and format the column width. 
Row height, column width. And instead of 0.9, maybe I want it to be one whole, and that still fits. After I go to print, it gives me these dashed lines, and that tells me where the edge of the page is going to be. So I go to File, Print, and it takes up a whole page pretty well there. And actually, it's a little bit too big where it's coming closer to the edge of the page on the right side than it is the left side, so I might want to center it better. So I would go to File, Page Setup, and check out my margins. Margins are how close it is to the edge of the page. Set them to half an inch. That's the smallest you can get. If you get smaller than that, it's, it's going to not print that edge. File, Print. Check out how close it is. Now it looks like I have a little extra room on the right side. So again, I can adjust it just a little bit. Easiest way to do that is just to drag each individual column over a little bit. And I know I've gone too far if <coughs> Friday ends up on the next page. Then I need to drag it back. I want to get it as close as I can so it's centered nicely. Minutes is going to be really big. So maybe instead of adjusting minutes that far, you can make Monday to Friday like 1.1. Format, column width, 1.1. Then we can adjust minutes back. After you have it so it's set, so it looks just right, you need at least eight different categories. I have morning routine, morning devotions, go to grandma's house. So I have three different time periods so far. Ooh, do you guys want to get complicated? No. 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 Yes. Okay, just in case you're feeling fancy. Just in case you're feeling fancy. I go to grandma's house. Let's say I go to grandma's house for four hours, but the drive home is only three hours. You guys have a huge commute for some reason. So I have an extra hour when I'm at grandma's house. I'm going to put in that 60 minutes here from 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock. I'm going to format the row height to be 0.6 for that hour. And since I'm there for grandma's house but not for the drive home, I'm going to merge these two cells vertically. Format cells and merge. Do it the exact same way as if it's horizontal. And now grandma's house is that one big four hour period. Uh, we'll center these also. Vertical, center, okay. And maybe when I drive home I have some extra time where I watch the TV. So then I have it different from each day there. Um, it'd be easiest to wait till you're all done when you're all done go in and center everything and then also format cells and center vertically center okay when you're all done with everything go to file save as and save it as your name schedule and then upload it to the google classroom and you are done